Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sean from Fairweather Cards. I just wanted to do a quick video of uh, some recent non-sport cards that I've been purchasing. You know, I, I don't know why I'm just kind of digging some Star Wars and some of the older vintage uh, non-sport cards that I had when I was a kid. Now there's a mix of new and old in here, but uh, I guess so we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, first, you know, I'm sure you all have heard of the uh, Topps Living Set. Uh, here is the Child from the Mandalorian. Um, you know, Disney's release, new Star Wars release. You know, I, I got caught up in the hype. I, I certainly enjoyed the Mandalorian and, you know, would, would really wanted to add the uh, Baby Yoda, the Grogu card to my collection. And actually, I saw this uh, from a, a fellow YouTuber and friend um, who does shows around here. Uh, him and his, uh, his children have this card and I thought, ah, it's a neat card. I need to get it. So, uh, you know, definitely followed his advice there and, and picked it up. Uh, the next card, actually, I uh, purchased a box, the first non-sport box I've purchased forever from Walmart of the Star Wars Battle Plans. And I ended up getting a, uh, a printing plate out of that box. This is of the AT-AT. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, I guess, a black and white or black printing plate. And, uh, you know, that was just kind of a neat little... Uh, Neat little find there in the box. I was, I was certainly happy to get it. So uh, there it is, uh, just out of a recent box that I purchased. Now you also got their, their they put the helmet cards in there, um, which I'm not really a big fan of, but uh, my helmet in that box was General Veers. Uh, I just, I don't like these big cards. You know, they're, they're not easy to display. Uh, otherwise, uh, I did see on eBay that there was a partial set. Now, this is the 4 Series set from 1977, uh, the green border set of the uh, Star Wars set. And uh, so the, uh, the seller had it for sale for a pretty good price, and I just went ahead and jumped on it and uh, picked it up. So here's the, uh, the partial set, uh, the green set of the, the Star Wars. And, you know, I remember having the, some of these cards when I was a kid. Now, this next card, I, I kind of showed it off, and I'll you know, probably have to blur the area. But if you have heard, there's kind of an X-rated uh, Star Wars card out there that involves C-3PO uh, called the Goldenrod card. Well, here it is. Here's a C-3PO Goldenrod. Um, you know, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know what Topps was thinking when they released this card. But uh, yeah, here's C-3PO in all his glory. Otherwise, you know, just some, some neat cards. Oops, got, a, got one of a hair in there or something. Um, just kind of a neat, neat set of cards. Uh, so I'll be looking to finish this set at some point. Um, you know, just picking up as I can. I do have some doubles. So, you know, if there's any that you're looking for and, uh, you know, you, you don't have... Uh, you know, certainly maybe we can make a trade or something at some point. But I won't go through the rest of the set. I just wanted to, to highlight that. And then the uh, final um, group of cards that I want to uh, point out. And this, I'm really stoked. Partly because it only cost me about 10 bucks uh, shipped. But uh, here's the entire set from Close Encounters. The movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And, uh, you know, the seller had it, and I made a, 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 an offer, what I thought was a low-ball offer, and the, scepter, the seller accepted. And, uh, you know, it's just neat to get these sets. I, I remember seeing this movie, um, you know, at some point in my childhood, and just being totally frightened, but mesmerized by it. And, uh, yeah, I, I just happened to stumble across, I love this card, Scout Ships Arrive at Devil's Tower. But I just love... Um, you know, these cards and just the set. And I thought, I got to get it, you know? I, I really want the set. So anyways, here it is. Um, I think my favorite card out of this set has to be the Mothership appearing over Devil's Tower. And uh, what, a, what a neat set, you know? And then there's some artist re uh, renditions of this card as well in here. But uh, you know, just, just so cool. Such a neat set and brings back memories of my childhood. So that's it. Not much, um, you know, for today, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you are all having fun out there collecting. We'll see you back here again soon.